Golfers, like other pro athletes, generally lead very exciting lifestyles. But Patrick Harrington's startling lifestyle is one that defies all golf stereotypes. Embark on a unique journey with us, exploring the surprising lifestyle of Patrick Harrington and the exceptional balance he strikes between professional golf and personal life. The journey of the Irish golfing great starts from humble beginnings to conquering the golfing world. Let's explore the roots of his surprising lifestyle. Harrington's Humble Beginnings Before the fame, before the success on the golf course, before the Padraig Harrington we know today, there was a little boy born on August 13, 1971 in Dublin, Ireland. Born into a family of seven, Padraig grew up with both his parents, Patrick and Breda Harrington, as the youngest of five sons, Tag, Colum, Finton and Fergal being the names of his older brothers. His late dad was the first Paddy, and was the Garda who played Gaelic football for Cork in the 1950s. He was also a boxer, a hurler, and most importantly, in this context, he was a golfer who played to a handicap of five. Growing up with such a family in the south side of Dublin, Patrick always had golf around him. His hometown in Dublin, Rathfarnham, happens to be the birthplace of two other professional Irish golfers, Paul McGinley and Peter Laurie. Patrick even attended the same school as McGinley, although not in the same year. Apart from the local golf influence, Paddy's dad and brothers played a massive role in developing his passion for golf. The family home had a nearby golf course, Stackstown GC, and they all could see Paddy's talent from his preteen days, so the entire family showed him support. His dad made sure to instill in him the importance of taking one's time to build talent. This impact influenced Harrington to become more determined to bounce back from setbacks, whether he was on the golf course or on the pitch playing Gaelic football or soccer. But attributes are what really come together to forge a golfing legend, and that was just the start. From Ireland to the world stage, the man who never hesitates to break boundaries. Here is the golfing journey of Patrick Harrington. Golfing success, Harrington's impressive career. Patrick kicked off his amateur career way back in 1987 when he lost in the finals of the Connect Boys Championship. In the following years, he enjoyed more amateur success, including winning the Walker Cup with the Great Britain and Ireland team in his third appearance in 1995. And in 1996, he made the big step of going professional when he joined the European Tour. And if you do the math, you'll see that Patrick was just going pro at the age of 25, which is relatively late to turn pro. Paddy doubted his golfing skills so much he didn't want to turn professional and instead went to study accounting at the university, shuffling a high standard amateur golf career with it. But when he did find the courage to go pro, he bagged his first professional victory in only his 10th career start on the European Tour at the 1996 Peugeot Spanish Open. Not gonna lie though, it wasn't always a bed of roses for Patrick. In fact, after his first win, Harrington had about three straight years with just runner-up finishes, no wins. That was outstanding enough to earn him his debut Ryder Cup appearance in 1999, but every pro golfer would rather win the event than runner-ups. Paddy's dedication and determination eventually paid off, and in 2000, he won two events on the European Tour, one more the following year, and from then on, it was only a matter of how many. By 2005, when he joined the PGA Tour, Paddy had won almost 10 European Tour events and had six consecutive years in the top 10 of the European Tour's Order of Merit rankings. Joining the PGA Tour was really the start of the forging of a real golf legacy, as many of Patrick Harrington's achievements have come since then. A true golf champion, Harrington has amassed a total of 37 professional career wins, including 15 on the European Tour and six on the PGA Tour. He also won the European Tour Order of Merit Award in 2006, was named European Tour Golfer of the Year in 2007 and 2008, PGA Tour Player of the Year in 2008, and that's not even all. Perhaps the greatest of this golf champion's achievements is his major wins. Don't get it twisted, Harrington's major wins haven't come easy either. He actually had to endure multiple podiums and top 10 finishes without a win before finally winning his first major at the 2007 Open Championship. Pretty impressive, right? That's nothing compared to the hell of a year Patty had in 2008 when he won back-to-back -back majors at the Open Championship and the PGA Championship. He achieved the former in an even grander style, pulling away from Greg Norman and Ian Poulter and joining an elite company of consecutive Open Championship winners. Defining moment for Harrington's sealed victory with this glorious... 
He also achieved his best ranking of third in the same year. Definitely a year for the golfing history books. In total, Harrington spent over 300 weeks in the world's top 10 between 2001 and 2010 and won four out of six consecutive Ryder Cup tournaments he participated in within the same time frame. Pedrick really is a different gravy. To top it all off, Patrick Harrington has been selected for World Golf Hall of Fame induction in 2024. Without a doubt, Patty is one of golf's greatest ever players. Ever wondered what happens when the clubs are set aside? Well, check out Harrington's startling lifestyle off the course. The surprising side of Patrick Harrington. Just like other professional golf lifestyles, Patrick Harrington spends most of his time off the course with his wife and kids. He knew his wife Caroline from their childhood days, and the couple eventually got married in 1997 and have two sons. You might somehow stumble on all these in a Patrick Harrington biography, but if you want to know Harrington's secrets that are nothing like your regular professional golf lifestyle, then let's get into that. When Patty Harrington is not swinging clubs, his entire lifestyle consists of three activities. The first is Harrington's fitness regimen. Oh yeah, this dude might be in his 50s, but he doesn't let his body slack. During his free time, Harrington works closely with strength and conditioning expert Dr. Liam Hennessy. In his own words, he likes to go all out when it comes to keeping his body in check. That kinda explains him undergoing laser eye surgery some while back just to improve his game. During Harrington's early pro golf years, he spent most of his gym time managing weight, but as he aged, Patty now focuses on maintaining as much muscle mass as he can. He does this by running over a dozen programs Dr. Hennessy has set up for him. Even his favorite hobby other than golf, of course, is something that keeps his body active. The hobby in question? Sailing. The Irish golfer loves to hop on a boat and go sailing with friends, or just spend time alone on a boat out on the sea enjoying the open. If there's one thing about Patty, it's that he doesn't mess around when it comes to keeping his aging body active and fit. Intrigued by Harrington's unique lifestyle? Hit the like button and subscribe for more insider peeks into your favorite golfers' lives. Away from the limelight, Harrington shapes the future of golf and makes his impact on the world. Let's dive in. Harrington, the mentor and philanthropist. In a game where many veterans prefer to sit back and watch rather than make an impact, Patrick Harrington is a rare breed. He isn't as active or efficient as he used to be on the golf course, so rather than just being a pro golfer, we now have Patrick Harrington as the mentor. Patty's golf lifestyle in recent years has revolved more around influencing the younger generation of golfers towards success. He showed this when he was made the Ryder Cup captain for Team Europe in 2021, when he said, I want to make sure everybody has a great experience where these are the best days of their lives. I could go through all those cliches. Ultimately, I want to win. I can control being a good captain without necessarily controlling the result. Team USA ultimately won the tournament, but Harrington's leadership of a younger team was pretty impressive. Still, on influencing others, Harrington doesn't stop at just golf. Instead, to top off his professional athlete lifestyle, Harrington gets involved in a lot of charitable contributions. He has been a global ambassador for Special Olympics, the world's largest sports organization for people with intellectual disabilities, since 2010 and has conducted many golf clinics for Special Olympics athletes and coaches. Patty is also a patron of the Irish charity Esophageal Cancer Fund OCF, having lost his father to esophageal cancer in 2005. And more than all that, he has raised hundreds of thousands of dollars to help those in need through various events and activities with his self-established organization, the Patrick Harrington Charitable Foundation. What a man! As he shapes the future of golf, Harrington's legacy is already taking shape. Here's how he will be remembered. The Legacy of Patrick Harrington Let's discuss the enduring impact of Patrick Harrington on the sport of golf and the unique lifestyle he has led. We might see Patrick Harrington hang his golf clubs for good very soon, but the fact remains that he'll go down as one of the most influential golfers ever. From a young boy on the streets of Dublin, Harrington has shown that through determination and consistency, young golfers can achieve anything. When he turned pro in his mid-twenties, many considered it too late, yet Patrick's passion and determination saw him achieve more than he believed he could predict. Even after his successful career, the way he has composed himself without getting into scandals or controversies is a model for many golfers around the world. And how he has maintained a good physical condition as well? This dude just might have done it all in golf, both on and off the course. So whenever you think of golfing greatness and great Irish sportsmen, think of Patrick Harrington. 
If you enjoyed this video about Patrick Harrington, check out the video on the screen now, or the one we posted below, because we're sure you'll like that one too. Let us know in the comments if there's another golfer whose journey you'd like us to cover. See you there!